Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Utah Spirit Trail Cocktail Videos. Tonight's cocktail is called a Brandy Flip, and it features the Hive Winery and Brandy Company's Apple Brandy. And we're also using Syrup Co's Cinnamon Simple Syrup. This is a really easy three ingredient cocktail. It's also going to have some egg white in it. The true cocktail recipe calls for a whole egg, but I just couldn't do it. So we're going to do egg white. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, right? We're all good. Okay. The Hive Winery and Brandy Company, incidentally, can be found on page 21. It's the Utah Spirit Trail Guide. Two French. Passport to Freedom. You know the drill, right? You got one. Come on. We'll get you all the stamps. I'll send you a cool glass. So let's get to the cocktail. But first, these chicken tents, because and because we're using egg whites, we need to do a dry shake first, which is shaking without ice. That's to help emulsify the egg. So we'll just add that first, the egg white. And then we'll add two ounces of brandy. And one ounce of the simple syrup. Remember, you got to shake these ones. We're just going to dry shake. We're going to add some ice and shake it again. Great thing about these shaking tins is you don't have to use a strainer really. You can just pull the top off. I got this cocktail from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Steve the Bartender. Now he was saying it's kind of like a nightcap, and I can kind of see that with the brandy. They, so the original recipe calls for a brandy. I wanted to use an apple brandy because I felt like it's more kind of Christmassy than just a regular brandy. And since I was already going one off with the simple syrup and using a cinnamon simple syrup from Syrup Co, I just figured, why not? So I'm kind of tired of looking at this. I'm gonna try it. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Mmm. Oh, that is so good. It's thick and smooth. Tastes a lot of the apple brandy in there. And of course the cinnamon simple syrup. The egg white just kind of bonds it all. Gives it a lot of viscosity. It's, like I said, it's super thick. It's really tasty. And it is, it's a sweeter cocktail, so it would be kind of a nice nightcap. Mm. Wow, that is so good. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of barrel flavoring, like a vanilla and oak. It's really good. Um, I would almost mistake this for like a bourbon cocktail, but there is no mistake in the brandy flavorings. So it must have something to do with how the Hive Winery and Brandy Company ages their brandy and what kind of barrels they use. 
it's definitely something that I would ask the next time you're at the Hive Winery and Brandy Company, ask them about that, how they get the flavorings. And don't forget, when you go, don't forget your beer trail guide. I'll give you a stand. Remember, it acts like a passport. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Thanks again for watching. And here's to hoping this holiday season found you in good spirits with good spirits. Cheers. Oh, man. Ooh. That's so good. Really easy. Three and Gary. Three and Damn. This is a really easy three ingredient cocktail.